what is up YouTube how's everybody out there doing today I hope you guys are having a great day and I hope you're getting ready to enjoy this video because we are doing some things and it's gonna be freaking amazing but first and foremost I'm in the middle of nowhere and it is freaking awesome look at those mountains over there this is uh, northern Pennsylvania, guys. Northern PA. Beautiful up here. Freaking beautiful. Right, guys we are back at the shop on that nice little drive and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what we got I'm gonna show you what we got on that nice little ride we got six eight volt batteries and you guys are probably wondering what the hell do you have six eight volt batteries for Andy well I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you The reason why I have six eight volt batteries is if you remember, I guess a couple months ago, my golf cart was in here. Zach and I's golf cart was in here and we did the lift kit on it. And we put some bigger wheels and tires on it. And it looked really, really freaking cool. Well guys, there's some big news coming for the golf cart. It's gonna be showing up here back in the shop again for a huge, huge freaking modification. And that is a plum quick motor swap out to a 48 volt setup conversion, AC conversion, all kinds of cool stuff. We'll have a lot more details when the parts get here, obviously, but you guys are not going to want at all to miss this uh, video on the golf cart build because this thing is gonna be able to pull wheelies and it's gonna be able to go 35 miles an hour, which is freaking crazy. And we will be testing it here in Terry Hill. Hopefully we don't get pulled over by the cops, the state police that patrol the area, hopefully they don't see us. Hopefully we don't get in trouble, but uh, it's gonna be a pretty cool video, guys. So definitely keep a lookout for that. First link in the description will be Plum Quick. Go check them guys out. They have the world's fastest golf cart, guys. The world's fastest golf cart. And they do some really, really cool, cool shit out there. So go check them guys out in the link below. All right, so obviously we're in the shop and you see the Cobalt SS is on the left. So there's a story behind that. On my way home the other day, Zach calls me up and he's like, Dad, the car shut off on me and uh, I don't know what to do. I just left school and I'm way up above Harrisburg and I don't know what to do either because obviously I'm not around and the car will not start at all. But, but thanks to my good buddy Connor, good old Connor here, my buddy, my buddy Connor. Hello. 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 Hello mate. <laughs> he took this beautiful tow truck of his. And he was so kind to go ahead and get Zach and bring the car back here. Once the car got back here, guys, we hooked a scanner up to it after it not starting at all. And what'd you find? A crank sensor? Crank sensor code? Crank position sensor code was in the car. So we had to order a crank position sensor, which didn't come in until today. And I went to try to start the car because I have Sky here today with me. 
Hi. And um, this guy's like, I, better, I bet you it'll start, Dad. And don't you know it, it started. But it still has a crank position code in the car itself. So we definitely have to do that today because we want this thing to be running and driving and ready to go for any future drag racing events or anything of that nature that we might be doing with the cars. That's a hint, guys. We will be drag racing some cars here soon, so keep a lookout. But it just so happens that crank sensor is way to freak down there above the starter, and you have to disconnect the starter to get to it. So, step number one, we gotta disconnect the battery, guys. Take all the power away from the vehicle, because we don't want to shock our balls off, because that would suck a lot for everybody. Obviously, as you guys know, the batteries are in the trunk of these things right here. So it is disconnected. Now we're going to get her up in the air and take a look at things. All right, guys. So we've got the starter out. That was kind of a bitch, not going to lie. There's one bolt here, and then there's a hidden one up here. Uh, an extension and stuff can get up in there. But right there's our crank sensor. Ended up unplugging it and pulling it out. Very, very simple to get out. It doesn't look bad, but it probably is bad. So we'll go over here and uh, we'll, oh, here, here's our crank and a new one. So here's the new crank sensor, oh, wrong side. We're gonna go ahead and put that in and hopefully this solves our problem, right Connor? Should. It will, it'll solve our problem. Theoretically. Theoretically, this should solve our issue. So that's just a matter of Tightening it up with the bolt, putting our starter back in. It's a five-minute job, <laughs> it's, it's five YouTube job, guys. <laughs> five-minute YouTube jobs, courtesy of Diablo Formula Racing. All right, we're going to bolt this thing back together again. Like All right, guys, everything's back together again. Got the pump back on, the starter, which you probably can't see, is all back on. Kind of a bitch to find that top bolt, but, you know, we got it on there. It's okay. New crank sensor's in. Connor's going to go ahead and let her down, and uh, hopefully she starts. We got to hook the battery up too, make sure all the codes are clear and all that fun stuff. Then back on the road with this car. Alrighty, everything's together, everything's working, battery's hooked up. Make it happen, Captain. Starts up like a dream. No check engine light. No. No check the engine either like these, and she's running. So hopefully, she stays, hopefully she stays running. I do like this car a lot. I do like this car. Definitely needs a little bit of repairs, a little bit, a little bit of stuff, but it is actually a really, really damn good car. This is actually a very good car. Very, very good car. It still has that like misfire almost. I think that might be with the injectors or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't know. So that's crazy, but whatever. At least it's running, it's driving. The old piece of junk here is uh, junk. And go ahead and put that in our little trash can over here. See if we can make it, guys. See that shit? That was awesome. That was awesome. These are new side skirts for the golf cart as well that I talked about in the beginning of the video, but they need modified a little bit. This piece right here doesn't need to be there for it to fit on the side and I'm gonna self tap them in. Connor's over here doing the cut line. Connor, are you gonna cut it too? Mm, probably not. Oh, damn. That means I gotta do it. I don't really feel like it. Oh, right there and then bring it in. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so side skirts are cut kind of. I mean, they look okay. Not too shabby, not too shabby. We're gonna take them back, put them on. And that'll be pretty awesome. You'll see that in the next one of the next videos when we do do the motor upgrade um, on the EasyGo TXT, my 2003 that I got. So you'll see them on there at that point in time. But uh, there you go, guys. Short little video fixing the slow ball. Finally, 
I was kind of scared. I thought Zach blew up the motor. That's what Connor was telling me. That Zach blew up the motor, and I was like, don't tell me that. It's not even funny. But uh, just a simple little crank sensor, all fixed, back to running again. Then Zach can park the Integra because he's driving that right now. And uh, he can go ahead and take the Cobalt back because it has AC power steering. All the bells and whistles that, you know, he probably should be driving around with, not that damn Integra. But other than that, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, Instagram, Diablo Formula Racing, and deuces, guys.